Ooh, what's up guys, and of course, welcome to the video from me, the Scarender, and uh, before going in, uh, the reason for me not being able to upload anything lately is because I've been really, really, really sick, and uh, I'm slowly, you know, recovering, but I'm still sick, so um, due to that, uh, there's the reason I don't, uh, or there hasn't been any uploads anymore, and, uh, well, this happened though, the Smuggle update, and uh, the Smuggle update is of course about the Pokemon that are no longer Megas. If their base form were to be set in a tier, what tier would they be? Um, there are a few changes that have been passed by, and also thank you to Ellis for patching this to me. Um, it actually came out today, so very interesting stuff. I have just glimpsed at it, but don't really have watched it for real. And uh, also mentioned should be that Blastoise is not mentioned on this list, while Blastoise is actually moved to uh, NU, so that's interesting and all. Uh, first Pokemon mention is Manetric, uh, which being moved to UU to RU. Uh, Manetric still struggles. Uh, Manetric is still a Pokemon that kind of lacks in every fashion. Uh, the reason Mega Pokemon did so well, or are doing so well, is because of its massive speed. And um, without that speed, I do believe Manetric is a 100, I think 105 at best. Um, yeah, 105. Um, so it's it definitely is uh, like a good speed here, but it's still you know it's still on fast now. It's still on faster than Jolteon. The only reason you would use um, Manetric is because of actually countering uh, Jolteon with of course the Lightning Rod. But uh, outside of that, it actually still is kind of bad. It has Flamethrower, which is nice, but that's about it. Uh, next one is Anthros uh, being moved to NU, and that's going to be interesting. I do firmly believe that Anthros is a very nice Pokemon overall, but um, yeah, I have no idea how well it can do. Uh, outside of Cotton Guard and, of course, um, the Magnetic Flux moves, uh, I don't know how people have been using Anthros in the, the previous generations, but obviously it's a bulk electric type, and it should do well in NU, I, or I'm, I'm pretty sure it will. Uh, Bannets, NU to PU, not that surprising, uh, kind of depressing, but not surprising. Uh, Venusaur, from UU to RU, and it might actually be falling even further. Uh, Venusaur has the same kind of issue as Valplume, that is that uh, it has a niche, but it lacks the bulk to pull it off because of so many weaknesses. Now, obviously, Thick Fat and Mega Venusaur is what keeps it so good. So without that, it's kind of struggling, and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it moved even further to NU. But as, it's now, as of right now, it's a very, very nice uh, Sun Sweeper, and it should do fairly well uh, in um, in RU, but I think it will keep falling. Uh, Dianji from UU to RU. Now, that's an interesting change, actually, uh, because Dianji is actually not that slow, uh, or it is really, really slow, but for RU, it's a kind of a fair speed tier for a wall breaker, so um, I can see the energy working in RU. I don't see it falling further. While likely, it um, it still is one of those Pokemon that I think, uh, as it keeps falling, it becomes one of those Pokemon that really could utilize the um, so stuff as, you know, Stealth Frogs, and uh, obviously the one that I'm thinking about is Weakness Policy, uh, because of its natural bulk and rock polish and whatnot, but um, yeah, we just have to see. I mean, Agron is still a part of this tier, and I do believe Agron is faster than Dianchi. Uh Before I even say anything about that, let me actually check that out. Let's see, Agron base speed is all right. They share speed here, <clears throat> so that can be worth keeping in mind. If um, Dianchi isn't pulling another power on it, it's definitely gonna fall. <laughs> Very interesting. Um, I have no idea how this is going to work, but uh, I am looking forward to it. Um, nothing more there. Um, Jarados actually been falling from OU to UU. Bit surprised about this. Bit surprised. Jarados should do really well in UU. Um, I mean, I know it's not that commonly used. I didn't know what is that badly used, but you know, it makes sense to some extent, I guess. And. Um, it's definitely like we, we complained about Chrome being a very, very versatile mon. Now, this is definitely one of those that are definitely more versatile in connection with Dragon Dance and whatnot. So, I believe that Jardos is going to get a BL listing before soon. Um, Jardos could do massive number in UU. And um, while Zapdos is, of course, a part of 
of this tier. I don't believe Zapdos on its own can hold it back. Uh, I don't. And of course, one Dragon Dance, there is no really no electric type that can stop it. Um, yeah, I, I think Charados is not going to stay for long. Um, let's see. Oh, sorry, I had to cough. <coughs> wow. Like I said, still sick. Uh, Obama Snow from RU to NU. Makes sense. Uh, I actually thought Obama Snow was worthy of having in RU, but uh, yeah, I guess Obama Snow really isn't that good. I mean, he got all those weaknesses going, so it's it's a fair presumption to see it actually be moved there. Uh, no, no more real comments on it. I guess the only thing I could say is that it's it's cool that we have two um, hail setters now. But hail is still a very very bad um, <laughs> weather effect. But still, you know, we got two that can pull that off. Pelipper from PU to NU. That's actually interesting because that means that PU is losing a defogger, a pretty bulky one at that. And uh, Pelipper is definitely a good response to the likes of Steelix. But outside of that, I can't really, really get into uh, what what made it change. Obviously, it's a very potent wall in uh, <laughs> the tiers lower than that. But yeah, I got, I got nothing more. If you guys know more about Pelipper than I do, then, you know, obviously write in the comment section. Because I don't use it that much to actually be able to comment on it, um, sadly. Uh, Charizard from you to are you yeah, and it will probably keep falling um, You know in theory I do believe that Charizard can actually f fall so hard that it uh, will pull Articuno and be put in PU as the months go by because Charizard just isn't that good um, It's it's a nice fire type it, it I, I like it But uh, it has to stealth rock issue and it's actually gonna represent a lot of issues for it as the time goes by um, it doesn't represent a nice speed here. I think it's 78, so it's actually really, really bad. Uh, I could be wrong about that, but it has a very nice special attack. But outside of that, it really isn't bringing anything. Uh, I'm just gonna check out charts. So I think it was 70. No, it actually, it speeds. Huh, it's actually 100. <clears throat> 78 is HP, huh? How about that? So, that's a decent speeder, actually. Uh, it's slower than Rapid Dash, I believe, but outside of that, uh, huh. Alright, so PU might not be... It, it could probably stay new, but it definitely isn't bringing anything new, and as long as um, the Stealth Frogs are a potent thing, uh, I don't see Charizard being able to stay like out of this way. It, Charizard is a very tough Pokemon to use, um, and I don't really see how anybody could use that efficiently outside of, of course, bringing... A rapid spinner and sought to, to get with it to actually keep that thing alive, um, but that's the only thing. And I, like I said, I don't know how to pull that out efficiently. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much this video. I mean, I hope you guys have some comments here that you guys want to see. Jardos, that that change is really the coolest one out of these, and of course, they've seen the NC is also really cool. Um, I don't think the edge will fall any further, but it's it could also be likely depending on. Um, the issues right now, but the thing is, in RU there are a lot of slow mounts, and very few of those has uh, um, steel moves. I do believe Durant is the only one that naturally outspeeds it. Uh, outside of that, Escavalier is definitely slower. Clink Clang is not used that often, so yeah, and Agron is definitely probably only one natural response to it. And that is not even a response, it's more like I can win the speed or deal with it. Uh, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you have any further thoughts, make sure to leave them down below, and I'll try to respond as good as possible. And um, as soon as I get, well, I'm not sick anymore, I will upload videos. But uh, this is the best I can do as of now, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, guys, take care.